And a confirmed tornado touched down near Grand Mound around 515 this afternoon. It's too early to know the strength of the tornado. We could find out as soon as tomorrow, but a house just north of town collapsed, trapping some of the homeowners. News 8's Jenna Webster explains. We're here in Grand Mound where this house behind me was built in 1918, but all it took was seconds to destroy. When we got to the basement door, we looked out and we could see the funnel cloud coming straight at the house. Donna Mackin and her son Jake standing in front of what remains of their family home built by his great grandfather. The remains scattered debris. Jake was upstairs when it hit. I didn't even see it. I had left my room, no windows, and as I made it to the top step, that was just boom. And it's, it's like having a cannon go off next to you. You can't hear or see anything. Next thing I knew, I was on the ground. Donna ran to the basement with her husband, Joseph. Oh, seconds. I mean, we didn't, we just barely made it down seven steps to the basement before it hit us. The strong winds that took out walls and collapsed the entire structure trapped Joseph. He was by the chimney in the basement and the supports for the house all fell over on top of him. They say within six minutes, first responders were already there. It was terrifying. And I just am glad we're alive. Very grateful. Grateful, and as they look out at what remains of a century of memories, looking to what they'll have to do next. It's funny because I had asked the kids if they <laughs> wanted to save the old house or just build the new one out back. I don't think that's a question anymore. We're going to have to build a new one out back. In Grand Mound, Jenna Webster, WQAD News 8. And her husband was taken to the hospital, but again, all of them are okay, and they say they can't thank first responders enough.